Hi, it's Luke from Love Wigston, and I've not got my normal partner in crime this month, but I've got a well-worthy substitute, <laughs> Patrick. Um, but welcome to the September edition of Love Wigston TV. Rado, we are missing you, but we'll try and get through this episode as best we can. Let's get through it. And we will get through it. So I've actually come along to hashtag not just a corner shop on Carlton Drive. That's right. Um, we've met with Pratik before, um, so we're going to be finding out more about his journey, what he's been going through, how the shop's developed over the past six months. It's, yeah, it's been more than six months, I think. Hasn't six it? months, it'll be. I think the last time you came in was exactly six months ago. You came yeah. in on the 27th. It, yeah, it was around, I know, because I went to Brian Adams in, um, in Nottingham and that was in February. Yeah. So yeah, six months. Yeah, wow, six months. time's flying by. Yeah, We're flying. at the end of the summer now. There we go. So kids are all back We're at school. the end of the summer, yet the summer's only just started. Yeah. Depends uh, on how you look at it. It's normal British weather, isn't it? <laughs> so, um, but let's have a look at what's going on in the local area, first of all. So um, a couple of events to let you know about. And this one's... Um, one for the avid computer game fanatic or someone just wanting to code. And this is the Code Club. So the Code Club at Wigston Library. It's all a fashion thing now, isn't it? With kids wanting to code and, and build things. They'll be spaceships to the, yeah. to the moon carrying themselves soon. But that's on September the 12th at 3.30. Um, and that's running through into October as well. Um, so that's at the Wigston Library. If you'd like more information, get in touch with Wigston Library. There's going to be six sessions on the 12th, 19th and 26th of September, 3.30 to 4.30. Then on the 3rd, 10th, 17th and 24th of October. If you'd like more information, then please reach out to Claire Bradshaw at less.gov.uk or have a look at codeclub.org.uk for more information. So that's a, a good thing to to keep the kids occupied. Um, and then at the Wigston Liberal Club on Bullhead Street, we've got the Autumn Term Wigston Story Imaginary. Um, so that's for baby and preschool uh, ages. Uh, traditional storytelling, singing, uh, sign language and phonics. And that's on Friday the 13th of September, 9.30 through to 2.30. Um, like I said, that's at the Wigston Liberal Club uh, as well. Then we've got, um, on the following day, uh, at the Wigston Liberal Club, we've got Soul Night, and that's from 8pm through to 11.30, um, and that's a great night with DJ Chris James and his Soul Motion. Um, for more information on for tickets, contact the club on 0116 288 5270. They have said here the tickets are moving fast, so if you want to stand the chance in uh, having a good night on Saturday the 14th, get in touch as soon as possible. Um, and then there is at the 1852. So the 1852, which is where we've visited before, we've done a, a great video. Um, we'll actually cut to a little bit of that video now because um, we've had some really good feedback from that and we've had many uh, local residents try the Sunday lunches out. We had a lovely message from the landlord there to say a uh, family went in only just at the weekend to, to try out his Sunday lunch. So. Um, is a great pub um, down by the Wigston Swimming Bar. So if you've not had a chance to find out more, here's a very quick video about what's on offer there. Hi, it's Luke and Ryder, and we've come to the 1852. Uh, closest landmark is probably the Leisure Centre yeah, uh, between Wigston and South Wigston. Yeah. So we've come to meet Carl, uh, the new landlord for the pub here, to see how he's been working tirelessly to change the reputation, but also what the pub has to offer. I know you're keen to look at this one, so let's go and have a look. So I know we've come to see a guy called Carl, so where's Carl? Oh, that's how you doing, Carl? So then Carl, thanks for inviting us along. Um, I mean, we, we've come to the 1852, and, and in the past, if we're honest, it's had a bit of a history to it, but since you've taken over, um, that reputation's got better, and I mean, just walking around just a few moments ago, the place is absolutely fantastic. Some of, speaking to some of your regulars, they, they don't speak hardly enough of you, really. Um, how long have you been here? Uh, two years this September. Wow, wow. And has it been, been hard work? Very. Yeah? Yeah. Long hours, long yeah. days. You must love it though. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> so what is it What is it that made you come to the 1852? Um, I don't know. It, it, just, it just appeared in front of my lifestyle at the time. And yeah. I went for it. And you went for it and yeah. you've not looked back? No. No. Not yet. Fantastic. It has got a great feel. It has got 
the first time for me in a long time that I've actually been in a proper traditional well, English or British first pub. thing you've said as soon as we, you said this feels like a proper pub definitely that's, that's, that's what, theme bars I'll be honest with that's what attracted me to the place yeah. when I first came in all honesty I suppose if I'll tell the truth if I'd have been a regular here or if maybe um, I'd read reviews here yeah. I don't know whether I would have no. attempted it you know, when I first came here, me and the wife, we came and there was a settee over there, we sat there, we didn't let, let no one know where we was, right? Yeah. We had a drink and straight away I felt accepted. Yeah. yeah. Because the one thing we've got, we call them the corner crew. Yeah. The one thing we've got here, the corner crew there, we have got a real, real good bunch of people. Yeah. You know, I don't look at them now as customers, I do look at the majority of them now as friends. Yeah. Which, you know, um, we've had a couple of, we've got a little day trip coming up soon. Yeah, okay. Um, all the boys are having a boys day out down jolly, the jolly day out yeah, yeah. yeah bit like, so, bit like the jolly boys out yeah, yeah and it's nice it's nice yeah. that the, the lads the locals yeah. have asked me to come along with them because you know and I go to football I go to the football yeah. room down the Leicester ground with a couple yeah. of them yeah and we have a bit of a normal life yeah so I was going to touch on that so so you, you're a big Leicester fan I am looking at all the, the Foxes memorabilia around and you've got the flag from when obviously that that great uh, I threw that I was that flag I was waving that flag. Was that 250,000 people on Victoria yeah. Park? I was on the front row. Wow. I was on the very front row. The only thing that was in front of me was the barrier. <laughs> I made sure I got there earlier. So Good if man. someone wanted to watch live sport, do you have live sport on Yes, there? we have live Sky Sports and BT Sport. So Premier League games, yep. golf, yep. All, all of those sports yeah, are available. Yeah, you've got the, the cricket you've on got the, Yeah, you've got the cricket on now. Yeah, uh, uh, the things. cricket, the Ladies World Cup tonight. Yeah. England are on tonight, Fam ladies. Yeah. Did fantastic so yeah. people can come down here and watch and what what i really chuckled at when we came in is you can see the sign just here dance floor rules oh yes yes I like so the rules of the dance the floor yeah so i think the first one was is that you it should always be occupied That's is, is yeah. rule number one yeah. so we'll get you to check your moves out in a bit no don't worry about my moves <laughs> i know but so <laughs> so there's apart from sports there's other events that you put on yeah, we have live music, we have family fun days. Yeah. Um, the family fun day is absolutely fantastic. Um, yeah. the, all the families, literally the families come in. For instance, Easter just came down. We just had Easter. Um, yeah. We had all the families in. I went round and gave every child at least two Easter eggs each. Yeah. Every, every adult got an Easter egg. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, the adults felt a little oh, bit they, left. They loved they it. Fit? They loved it. <laughs> Believe it or not, you're surprised how many of the adults yeah. went, wow, I've got an Easter egg. <laughs> you know, they were really, really amazed, yeah. you know, made up with it. So I know we do family fun days, barbecue and what. We've got a big one coming up in August, August yeah. bank holiday. Oh, okay, yeah. So um, I don't want to say too August, much on that yeah. because there's things that ain't quite in process, but yeah. we're hoping it's going to be a mega day yeah. and it should be good for Wigston as well. And you'll be advertising right. that? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. We've already started advertising it now and yeah. um, we'll advertise it a lot yeah. more. Well, you'll have to let us know. We'll, yeah, let, we'll let all of our kind of yeah. listeners yeah. And, and readers know. So, yeah. But I know you've got someone that I'm Just sure... Just Yeah, just make sure he's served. So we'll let you boy. pop off and serve and that I'll guy. Back in a minute. Yeah. Yeah. So with the, with the 1852, it's on September the 21st, so it's on a Saturday. Lucy Floyd is being Dolly Parton um, at 9pm. For more information, reach out to them on Facebook or drop in to see them and you'll be able to find some more information out. But we're here at not just a corner shop, so how's, how's it been going? I, I, all, all I'll say to you is I've receded, I think, by about two inches. So, yeah, yeah it's, it's been busy. I yeah. think uh, what's been uh, all the more surprising for us, you, you can have an idea. Yeah. Uh, but for the idea to come to fruition, uh, you need the support of your own community, and it has been phenomenal. Yeah. And it seems to be that everyone is really um, taking on this support Leicester local yeah. uh, ethos. So you know we've got we've got people, new people coming in all the time. We've got them bringing in their products, yeah. and um, you know we've, we've just actually recently. I'll just show you that. Uh, that's yeah. a that's a chap up the road that you know he's. He's retired, he grows a uh, little uh, cactus, cactus yeah. and he's just asked us, oh, is it possible for you to sell them in the shop? And we're like, yeah, let's give it a try. Um, it's something that has really, really um, given the community something to latch on to. Yeah. Um, you know, well, we've, I, just before we started filming, we had Mr. Darliston, Mr. Darliston. give him a special mention. That's it. So he's giving you a little bit of banter. That's it. Well, uh, well the thing is, if you... If anyone yeah you know i'm just putting this out there if anyone fancies throwing some abuse at someone yeah 
you're the person. I am you'll, the guy. You'll put your head I will the take it. I will take it. No, it's, I, think, yeah. I think all it is is that um, we, we have, like, we've sort of organically become a bit of a community hub. Um, just three weeks ago, we've just started uh, working in partnership with uh, Leicester Food Bank, okay. Leicester South Food Bank. Yeah. So now we get um, vegetables brought in from the local allotment. Okay. Um, they uh, sit on a stand. Yeah. Uh, we then um, basically uh, sell yeah. those uh, vegetables, but we don't actually sell them. We have a little box. Um, everyone just contributes in there, and then yeah. that money goes back to the food bank, so they can buy long shelf life tins and things like that. Right. So okay. I think. So, so I suppose a bit like a, a charity shop. So people are bringing in their donations, yeah. which they're building on the. Making on the local yep. and growing on the local allotment, uh, allotments. Yep. You're selling to the local community, yep. um, and for, all for of the all of the donations. Yep. So they're getting some homegrown produce yep. uh, that's not travelled up and down the country, yep. uh, not been flown over. That's it. Um, and then that money is then going to the food bank, yep. so then they can buy the tins. Yeah, so the, things that things that basically and, aren't and that. aren't so perishable. Yep. And and uh, the thing is, right now we've got. a glut of courgettes yeah i love courgette yeah. there are people out there don't don't like courgette yeah. whereas those that do it what it does it just matches what people want and what people yeah. need so if someone takes a courgette they put a little contribution in yeah. the tub then that uh, that tub will contribute so, to a few tins so of for tomatoes. someone coming in if they were looking to get some uh, fruit and vegetables when's the main days that that so we found in? that it's it's not really any fixed days oh, okay. uh, right now this is actually normally the table for it yeah but we don't actually have any today so uh, we've sold out we've sold out so okay. you know we had uh, we had a big i call them marrow jets yeah. so it's a marrow yeah that was a courgette basically yeah. we've had loads of those we've had rhubarb we've had beetroot we've had, wow. we've had raspberries we've had wow. blueberries and I think all it is is that people actually do want to have this better relationship yeah. with their food and also for, for it to then go back into the community, yeah. it's like a yeah. added bonus. So I can see you've still got the farm fresh milk. Still got the farm milk. fresh milk. So £2.49 yep. for a bottle. £2.49 a bottle, but bring the bottle back and you get one twenty back. So it only really works out to one twenty nine wow. a litre. And that's fresh from fresh the farm. Fresh from the farm on Great Dolby. We actually were there on Sunday. Um, I think, again, it's having that better relationship yeah. with your food and your drink. Um, and we're actually not very revolutionary. Yeah. All we want to sell in this shop yeah. is bread, milk, eggs, and a little bit of food. And but all of that, all of it should be local yeah. and uh, traceable. Yeah. Uh, so you know, actually, do you know what? I really liked what, uh, so the lady that does the shoe pastry, yeah. uh, who's there on Saturdays, you know, there are people that will come in now and they say, oh, do you know what? I had this pastry while I was in France, but it had a, it had a hazelnut filling. Yeah. She'll do that the next week. Yeah. And, cool. and it's sort of, it's demand. And, yeah. and we've got the jars, so we've yeah. got cashew, banana chips, jumbo oats. Wasabi peas in there are the most popular. Sherbet lemon. Yeah. Apple cubes, choco nuts, um, pumpkin seeds. So all of the, yep. all of those kind of things, and as we go round, we we then come to. So you've got the simply cider that we've only just recently okay. uh, got. So this is a chap from uh, Market Harbour, okay, who has uh, basically uh, the Lawton, started it. Lawton Bell, yep. this one. Um, so he basically uh, started his own cider distillery. I yep. don't know what you'd call them, cider brewery. Brewery, uh, yeah, yep. yep. and. Um, the product is amazing. It's totally natural. So this is made, so brewed and blended in Market Harbour. Yep. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lovely product. Do you want to try it? Oh, yeah. Shall we, we, yeah. we have a little, a sneak, a cheeky tipple? <laughs> um, so, and I, I can see you've still got your traditional lagers, so someone that wants to come in and just pick up. Yeah, so we have, we have regulars lager. that come in and, and, you know, they want something yeah. normal. And, and that's not a problem. Uh, however, a lot of those that actually come in for a, you know, a daily, uh, you know, their normal can of yeah. four every couple of days or whatever it is, yeah. they're now going on to yeah. the, the, more, the more local, the yeah. more uh, natural products that are yes. out there. I can see when we were last here, you've still got the Burleys. Still here. got the Burleys. We've actually had an additional 
So now we actually do two birds as yeah. well. So um, it's uh, it's only just sort of growing. We've got more and more people. Yeah. It's got some nice taste to it, doesn't yeah. it? It's uh, any excuse for me anyway. So. <laughs> But yeah, it's. Um, I'll have to let you have a try of that in a bit, there. <laughs> You've got your, your job to do. Yeah, I mean. can't, can't have a wobbly camera. No. Um, but so, yeah, so there's loads of things constantly happening. Yeah. So at the moment. So there's the two, <clears throat> there's the two types of. There's the two types, and actually, there's also going to be an additional. Yeah. Uh, so these are a more natural, sort of, I, I guess, like a scrumpy type uh, yeah. cider. Yeah. However, uh, due to demand. Yeah. Um, Chris has actually just developed a, a recipe for a more, uh, without sort of paraphrasing, a Copperberg type product. Oh, okay, so yeah. with a little bit of added sugar, yeah. but it's got a natural this spritz. Is quite a natural, natural yeah. yeah. Uh, but so for someone that loves, uh, I love spritzed drinks. Yeah. Um, this I enjoy. Yeah. But the one that he did, uh, he just brought us a little sample of yeah. it. It was. Uh, a raspberry and a passion fruit, yeah. slightly spritzed. That's amazing. Okay, yeah. you have to keep us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that, that we're actually so getting in again soon. Three so. pound each or two for a five pound. Yep. So same price as what you're paying in the supermarket. Yeah. But you're getting something local. Proper, uh, properly and made with yeah. passion. Yeah, again, supporting a local, a local it. business. That's it. We've got your wines. Yep. So we've got Witham Wines, which uh, okay. they make uh, elderflower uh, type things. Uh, so we've got just that one there. Yeah. So it's a sparkling elderflower infusion. So Vegan it's basically like, yeah. So it's like, a, again, like a cider, yeah. uh, but made with elderflower. Um, again, really nice, really refreshing, especially yeah. with all this lovely weather. That, that in the fridge, a couple of ice cubes. And Beautiful. That would be really refreshing yeah. on these hot days. So... You still got your normal traditional newspapers, magazines. So we've got newspapers, magazines, cigarettes. Yeah. Uh, you know, we coffee. Coffee. Yeah. Uh, coffee's beaut. Yeah. Um, so and then and then the additional items. So you've yeah. got you know the bread from Hamilton. Yeah. Got little tarts from Hamilton. Yeah. Um, and these for, for these things not, here. Yeah. Are like hotcakes. Regardless of how many we buy. Yeah. So You're very lucky to actually yeah. even see them today. They're normally gone by 10 o'clock. So what are they? Uh, they are coconut and raspberry tarts made with a butter pastry around. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Nice. But for people that haven't heard of Hamilton Bakery or... So Hamilton some, some... Bakery is... Uh, it's a bakery out in uh, near Oakham. Yeah. Um, you know, they... Uh, the bakery uh, was actually born out of a need. Yeah. So Hamilton Hall has got their own restaurant and... Um, Aaron, Chef Aaron, I can't remember his surname, uh, basically wanted to have a premium yeah. bread op op option yeah. for the guests. Yeah. Um, trying to find loads of options, not really finding anything. So it's like, right, let me just do it myself. And he found that more and more people were really enjoying his product. Yeah. So he started to grow and he's grown. And wow. now Hamilton as a bakery on its own is... So now you had the hot yeah. cross buns. Yeah, so the hot cross they, buns went... They yeah. were flying off the yeah. shelves. Yeah, we they? did. We ended up doing 150 on yeah. uh, that Saturday. So, wow. so yeah, it's. I think yeah, everyone just wants to have really good quality food. Yeah, and um, we're just trying to facilitate that. Yeah, uh, yeah, you know, you get football scouts. I'm a fine food scout. You, you go sourcing less yeah, than finest food. That's people. it. That's well, it. We're going to head over to there, but I know you've got a customer. Yeah, just, just one moment. See. So I'll let you serve, and then we'll resume. Yep. on the other part of the deli. Perfect. So. Busy morning. Busy so morning. Yeah. Can't keep the customers waiting. No, no. So we've got ice cream. Yep, we've got ice cream from Purbeck. We also occasionally have uh, Gelato, Val Gelato Village okay. coming to do a stand. Yeah. Uh, we're also working with uh, another local producer. Um, so Purbeck is not a local. Not a so local so Purbeck, Purbeck is Purbeck is actually from Dorset. Yeah. However, uh, the chap that runs all of their sales. Yeah. Is a local chat. Okay. So, so there's the connection. Yeah, that's so the connection. Yeah. And you know, we we he said, oh, you know, would you be willing to keep it? And we're like, well, let's try it. And yeah. it goes really well. Fantastic. However, in addition to that, we're also working with another local producer that is making. Um, they make larger tubs of ice yeah. cream, and they're actually looking to go into the go smaller into the ones. Smaller and we we've basically said, look, yeah. we'll have it. So. Well, and I know as a, as, as a sideline or your other hat yeah. you wear, yeah. obviously you've got a restaurant. We have. And you're bringing the restaurant 
to the corner. Yeah, so basically, um, you know, we've been sort of, uh, I would say, spinning a lot of plates yeah. at, at the same time, quite, quite literally. Yeah. And uh, we've, had, we've had a really good run in both places, yeah. but we've taken the decision for the next couple of months, we're going to concentrate on the deli. You yeah. know, we, we're able to have a bit of a more relaxed pace of life. You know, you work during the day, you yeah. get to spend some time in the evening. Yeah. That being said, we still love what we do yeah. at the restaurant. So just to keep things sort of ticking over, we've uh, looked at the uh, possibility and, and the reality now yeah. of actually doing a few chilled curries yeah. from the restaurant in the deli. Okay. Um, so we've actually... Uh, we just tried the idea yeah. and we ended up doing 130 so, portions last wow. week. So this is where someone can come and buy a chilled curry. So basically what we recommend is that uh, we, on our Facebook page, yeah. we actually put up a menu on a Sunday. Yeah. You pre-order whatever you want to order yeah. and um, it will be in the deli ready for you to pick up on a Saturday between 9 and 3. Wow. So it's ready for your Saturday evening takeaway. To just to heat it up and ready to go. Been made locally, made it's locally, made in a big factory, yeah, that's all it. fresh ingredients. Exactly. That's well, the, the idea was to make very small yeah. batches, but yeah. you know, doing 130 in week two, yes. I, I don't know uh, that's not small how batch. small we're <laughs> going to be able to keep it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's been it's been really enjoyable. And you cater for vegetarians, vegetarians, vegans. Yeah. Uh, there's some dairy free in there okay. as well. So you know, there's there's lots of opportunity for people yeah. to try it and. And all we're trying to do is, you know, just give people uh, an option of having a really high quality restaurant item, yeah. but at home. Yeah. And, and, you know, you can sit in front of the box. Well, they can pick up, bo pick up a couple of... Yeah, you know, uh, we've got the naan breads, again, yeah. locally made. Yeah. Uh, now, you know, what's this I've seen on the Facebook page about the red Leicester naan? So that's been... Uh, all, all I'll say is I've been worn down. Yeah. So... Um, I never, I guess, you know, you, you don't believe in your own product sometimes. And, you know, I've had many a people just saying, oh, you know, Pratik, you really should do the Red Leicester Naan yeah. in the shop. Yeah. Now, uh, I guess from the beginning, we've always been trying to promote other producers. So you don't really want to promote yeah. your own. Um, but out of sheer tenacity yeah. and people just basically plugging away and saying, can you do it? Can you do yeah. it? And yeah, we've just, this week's the first week we're going to be doing the Red Leicester Naan wow. from the deli. Uh, we've got pre-orders for 14 oh, imagine, already. Yeah, I can imagine. So it's, it's a popular. Yeah, it's popular it's it's dish. been it's been a, I guess it's been a surprise, but yeah. everyone else has been saying yeah. to me that. Oh, that why, makes sense. Yeah. So, but yeah, that's been really good. Yeah. In addition to that, um, the shootique lady, uh, yeah. Natalie, she's also going to be starting to do sort of uh, ready meals as well. So yeah. she's going to be doing beef bourguignon, oh, French onion fantastic. soup, and yeah. so I think we're just going to become more of a hub, so yeah. that you can come and get things as and when you want them, take them home and, yeah. you know, sort of yeah. make them when you want. And I can see here we've got things like your grounded coffee. Grounded coffee. So grounded coffee, we've got the, diff we've got the different types yep. of coffee. You've got teas, and tea. that's, a, that's by and a Wigston lady. Apple and mint, so that's yep. someone from Wigston. From Wigston as well, yeah. We did that together, but then we've got the... Drivers, so drivers, yep. uh, the owner of, no, not, let's not even call the owner, the actual creator of drivers. Yep. Used to live three doors up the road. Wow. Uh, we all, always used to have his uh, uh, daughter coming in saying, oh, you know, you've got all of this yeah. uh, mass manufactured pickles. Yeah. You've not had ours. Yeah. And then when we started what we do now, that yeah. was the first option. Uh, we've also got some dips and pickles there. Saffron Acres. Saffron Acres. Yeah. Again, a really good cause, you know, made by uh, local people with sort of learning disabilities and you know Brilliant. giving them something yeah. to do and and it, it, it's yes I could see the, the kind of care and the attention to detail that you put in to try and make as much of it as local as possible but then you have got for the, when the children come in yep. if they want their, their sweets yeah, like yeah. there was a little boy in earlier for lollipops or That's things it. like that chocolate then so know, again even the sweets and uh, things like that are managed by another local yeah. uh, person who started have just started their own um, sweet wholesaling. Wow. So again, I've, I've said to everyone, when given the opportunity of supporting another local producer, yeah. I would rather do that than just do everything myself. Yeah. I might as well, you might as well give someone the opportunity of a, you know, a stage to yeah. do what they want That's to do. Fantastic. Well, it's been really enlightening coming back to see how you've progressed on this journey yeah, yeah. and how the shops look.
um, and keep up the fantastic work. We've got a very quick video about Wigston that's doing the Leicester Half Marathon. Have you done a Half Marathon before? No, I don't see Shall that happening. Shall we get signed up for <laughs> yeah, That's the wife nodding. Um, but she's doing it for the MS Society. And so we've got a very quick video just to learn about her story. And so we'll cut to Tammy now. Hi, it's Luke from Love Wigston, and I've come along to see Tammy from Knightsbridge Estate Agents, one of the administration ladies here. Yeah. Um, and you're doing something important later on in the year. Uh, yeah, I'm doing uh, less than half marathon. Wow. From How Victoria many miles? Park, uh, 13 and a half. But this isn't your first time, is it? No, I did it uh, four years ago. Cool. And what? How, how quickly did you manage to get around in? Um, well, I was looking at two and a half. Yeah. But I actually did it in two twenty. Well done. That's so uh, all my supporters weren't even yeah. there yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, oh, I'll just wait. I? So what's made you want to do that half marathon again? Um, mainly because obviously my other half's got MS. Okay. So. Um, so you're doing it for the MS Society. Yeah. yeah. MS Society. Yeah. Uh, I want to raise some. Not necessarily all funds, awareness, yeah. because we don't know what causes it, no. there's no cure for it, and there's about 14 people every day that's yeah. been diagnosed with it. Yeah, wow. So, uh, and also a personal challenge as yeah. well. So, and you mentioned earlier that the MS Society is, is close to your heart because yeah. your partner's got MS. Yeah. 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 So, um, you're doing it alone, you're doing, doing it as part of the uh, team? I'm going to do it with me friend, Yeah. because um, my other teammates from four years ago, so okay. like, that's it, I've done it now. Yeah, so, uh, um, so you've left them behind and you've yeah. got someone else to help you. I want to make sure it won't fluke, yeah. so I need to do it again. Okay. <laughs> and have you got any targets as to how quickly you want to get around in? Um, I need to just get around, I think. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'd like to maybe match my time, if yeah. not quicker. But Brilliant. We'll Maybe even under two hours. Oh jeez, an hour <laughs> done. <laughs> so, um, so what what's the training been like? Because obviously you can't just get out of bed one day and no. decide that you're going to run a half marathon. As much as we want to just do that, um, I think last week we did nine and a half miles. Wow. Uh, so you're already up to that, that kind yeah, of like nearly just ten under mile two mark. hours. Yeah, that. brilliant. Um, but that's kind of the main. One yeah. we'll keep doing little four mile ones, yeah. but obviously it's been very hot. Yes, so um, that's good training, <laughs> weather for, good training weather for you because I know yeah. last year it was absolutely rain sodden, absolutely throwing it down. So, yeah. some people prefer that. So, how can people get involved if they want to help donate to the MS Society and track your progress? How can people get involved? Um, well, I've got a just, just giving page, yeah. Um, so you can just go on to justgiving.com, yeah, put in Tammy Ball, yeah, and my page will come up. Yeah. Um, there's a big uh kind of poster on it saying yeah. his fight, my fight, yeah. kind of thing. Cool. Um, so you can donate online. Um, Brilliant. Yeah, or just go to the MS Society website. Yeah, fantastic. So we'll include the link for the Just Giving uh, website as well. Um, you'll be able to track track Tammy and we'll, we'll keep you updated as to how the progress goes with the training, maybe catch in with you before you set out on that final yeah. final bit of training yeah. that training program so mm -hmm. it'd be really great to share that kind of story and that personal reason as to why you why you're doing it how does your partner feel with you doing this yeah he um he says it's great yeah obviously he says you don't have to do it but i just want to yeah. give back because i see how it, he struggles just so. make sure you get him out of bed on that sunday morning oh, yeah, to come and support prosecco you. at the end <laughs> I'll be right. i'm running for the prosecco yeah fantastic <laughs> so um but if you want to get involved with the leicester half marathon um, raising money for different charities obviously it's organized but in conjunction with LOAS as well um, we'll pop the links for the details as to how you can get registered there's still time to get your entry in um, and we'll keep you up to date with Tammy's progress as to how things go so best of luck Tammy for the run in October I do hope that pull down and we're not going to get this we're not going to get a late heat wave for you because there's nothing worse than running in heat but you'll be well prepared you've done all your training in this hot weather that we've had during the summer so this has been the september edition of love wigston tv if you'd like us to come out and see your business or feature your community group or event that's going on drop us a comment below drop us an email to info at lovewigston.co.uk and we'd love to see you in october see you soon guys